Hi everybody, it's Miss Melinda, your spiritual worker, owner and operator of Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com. I'm going to do a short video today talking to you about how to implement spirituality into your everyday life when you're super busy. So we're going to just go over some um, main activities that most people participate in even if they have a, an exceptionally busy schedule and a crazy lifestyle. And the first thing that I would like to touch on is sleeping and dreaming. So everybody sleeps, right? Um, you have the possibility of doing some dream magic. Um, you can take this as far as you would as you want to, but it can also be incredibly simple. As simple as saying a prayer or stating an intention before you go to sleep at night. Um, there are a couple of ways that you can go about this. One would be communicating with your subconscious mind, um, making a statement to your subconscious mind, or asking a question to your subconscious mind, and asking for an answer or a sign to appear in your dream, or even asking your subconscious mind to work out a problem for you or work on a solution for you while you are asleep. Um, I guarantee you I have experience with this. Your subconscious mind will listen and you will be able to accomplish things um, within those de depths of your mind while you are sleeping. Um, the other way would be to tune in with some spiritual guidance. You can ask um, for guidance or assistance from a spirit guide, from a guardian angel, or from a deity that you have a good relationship with. Um, if you would like to, you can light a candle for a short amount of time, and this can be a very short amount of time. A few seconds is would suffice just long enough to say a prayer or ask a question and just make this a nightly habit. Do it right before you go to sleep. Um, you can implement it into your routine and before you know it you'll have a habit out of it and be doing it without even thinking of it. Um, another activity that most of us participate in even though we are super busy would be cooking. So um, food is a really excellent way, food and drink are really excellent ways to implement magical practices into your everyday life. Um, if you are working on uh, money, for example, if you would like to create more financial abundance or monetary prosperity in your life, then you can cook with herbs such as mint, um, basil, things of that nature. Um, this is very simple. It's as simple as saying a prayer over your food while you're cooking it or before you eat it, um, holding your hand over it and projecting some energy into it while you focus on your intentions, focus on what you man want to manifest. Um, this only has to take a matter of seconds. You're going to be eating anyway, so even if you're not cooking, you can at least bless your food, say a short prayer before you eat it, um, say a short prayer after you eat it, Think about your intentions while you're eating. Make your mealtime a, a mindfulness practice. Um, this is really good to do with drinks too, especially herbal teas. You can research what herbs um, work well for what practices and use those herbs to manifest your intentions. Um, one other goal that this works really well for is when you need to spiritually detoxify or even physically detoxify, but oftentimes those two go hand in hand. Um, physically detox, de physical detoxification works on the spiritual level, especially if you intend it to work on the spiritual level. So if you've been feeling bogged down, depressed, lethargic, or you have heavy energy, you just feel gunky, like things aren't quite right, um, then by all means consider using your food as a way to spiritually cleanse or spiritually detoxify. Um, that can be as simple as hot water with lemon daily. Moving on, um, cleaning your house is a great time to implement some spiritual activity into your life. This, again, can be as simple or complicated as you want it to be. Um, this can be as simple as in the morning when you're loading the dishwasher, um, throw some cinnamon sticks in a pot of water and leave those on to simmer. Those beautiful vapors are going to create some good luck in your environment. They're going to raise the vibrations of the energy in your environment. They are going to get um, impurities and bacteria out of your air. 
Um, while that's burning, it's going to lift your spirits. You can think about your intentions while that's burning. It will be a physical reminder of what you were trying to work on. Another thing to do would be putting some spiritual oils into your cleaning water, um, into your mop water. I like to use the cinnamon brew as a, a floor wash. I add that to my mop water. Another one that I like to use would be um, making a very strong tea out of orange peels and other citrus. Lemon works really well. Um, I don't recommend lime, but lemon and orange works really well. I like to use cinnamon, lemon, and orange peels and make a very strongly brewed tea. Um, and you can add that to your mop water or better yet, you can use that as a, a final step to cleaning your floor and use that as a floor cleansing. Um, the important thing in this activity, as in all activities, is think about your intentions. Think about what you want to manifest as you're doing those activities. So they can all be um, modified for any purpose. And as with anything else, the important ingredient is your mind, your energy, your intentions. Um, your hygiene routine, so perfect time to spiritually cleanse as well as physically cleanse. Um, make your bath into a ritual. Baths can be for all kinds of purposes, not just spiritual cleansing. Um, you can use your bath time to work on any kind of goal that you're trying to work on. Um, a shower works well as, as well, especially for spiritually cleansing. If you're feeling you had a really bad day, you're feeling bogged down from other people's energies, perhaps you're picking up energy from the people around you, you're coming home and feeling negative about world politics or whatever may be going on, use your shower as a cleansing activity. Envision all of that negativity just flowing off of you as the water flows down. Um, everyone, almost everyone has time for a shower. I, I don't expect you to necessarily take one every day, but when you do take one, it's a great opportunity for you to work on your spiritual goals. Um, oh, house plants are a great tip. So this is just kind of an extra little tip. You can charge your house plants or bless your house plants to work towards specific purposes. Um, two things that they're especially good at would be purifying and detoxifying your environment or bringing in abundance and prosperity. So I would encourage you to either charge your plants with your energy, your physical energy or your spiritual energy, or pray to your plants, talk to your plants. You know, this, again, this doesn't have to take a lot of time. You can talk to them in, in passing. You can say a prayer in passing. Um, you can leave offerings in your potted plants. You can talk about your manifestations, talk about your goals, um, say your affirmations while you're watering your plants. Um, you know, work it into your daily habit. Many of us feel that we don't have time for spiritual practices in our daily lives, but really it's a matter of training your mind and working habits in. Once you make it a part of your daily routine, it becomes something that you do second nature without even having to think about whether or not you have the time. Um, if you think about what you do every day, we have many rituals that we rely on to create order and to um, to create structure in our lives and also to transition us from one activity to another. Most people have a bedtime ritual, for instance, something, a, a small sequence of steps that you use to prepare yourself mentally for sleep. Uh, that ritual is a way that you have trained your mind that it's sleep time now, it's bedtime, you're gonna relax, you're gonna get ready to go to sleep etc. So the the kind of um, habits and rituals I'm talking about are the same. It's a way of training your mind. It's a So start building some habits slowly into your life, into your daily routine, and over time, before you know it, you'll, you'll be doing it without even thinking about it. It'll be second nature. Thank you for watching. Um, you can contact me on Facebook, Blogspot, Instagram, or by email. I'll leave all of my links below. If you have any questions about anything that I've mentioned, if there are any topics you would like me to elaborate on, I'm happy to do that. Or if you have specific questions about any other topics, I'm always happy to take requests for videos. So thanks for watching.
and have a great evening.